watch for drama here. There's drama already. Multiple cars caught up in this one. The biggest challenge is managing emotions and uh, driver egos, I would say. Hi, I'm Cam McConville, Driving Standards Advisor for the Porsche Painter Dixon Carrera Cup Australia. I started this DSO role, believe it or not, back in 2010, and I did it for two seasons, and then I went to V8 Supercars as the Driving Standards Advisor, and then I came back to Porsche full-time as the Motorsport Manager in, uh, in 2014. I've been with the category when it was 13 cars on the grid, not 26, and then, of course, I've done two seasons in Carrera Cup. It's the best-run championship in Australia, without a doubt, so I, I feel real fortunate to be back involved again. To win the round at the Grand Prix, uh, was very special because I was managing the team for Zagami Autosport. We'd only just started running a couple of cup cars. Ross Armand trusted me to run both cars for him and obviously for his son Mike. That was just really special to win a race there. I actually had my son and my dad there as well and stand on the podium at the Grand Prix was special. Certainly that stands out and I have the trophy at home in pride of place. So when I arrive at the track, I normally go and find out who the stewards of the meeting are, make contact with them get everything ready for driver's briefing. During Friday, I monitor what's going on on track in practice. So up in race control, sitting next to Dave, our race director, just making sure that they're not running into each other in practice, which is first and foremost important. Moving into qualifying, also making sure that no one impedes each other, that they all get equal opportunity to put a fast lap together. I spend a fair bit of Friday just talking with the drivers backwards and forwards in case anything's come up from the previous race. And then we roll into the races, and I guess that's where my workload usually increases. And if they do have an incident on the circuit, I investigate it in race control. If the vision's not clear, I then do a post-race investigation and get the drivers in for, a, I guess, an unofficial hearing. The challenge for me is to try and deliver the message without sounding like I'm the judge and executioner. I believe everyone's innocent till proven otherwise. I'm just there for advice. Effectively, the race director and the stewards make the decisions. With respect to stewards that haven't raced regularly, sometimes they can just throw a penalty and not see it from the driver's viewpoint. And I like to see it from the driver's viewpoint because I still consider myself a driver. Yeah, I think it's about showing empathy, but also getting the drivers to understand if they have made a mistake. I think Carrera Cup provides a driver a real opportunity to stand out. You know, we know there's an international stepping stone. The category for me stands for a number of things. It, it represents an opportunity for a young guy to really put himself on the international stage and the Australian stage, if that's what they want to do. But also, for a driver that is, I guess, more advanced than track days, you know, wants to go racing, so a businessman racer in, in equipment that's the same as the other businessman racer in a series that's just got the best infrastructure getting around. So it's the best value for money racing, and even though it's a, it's a Porsche, it's not a, a budget car, it gives, gives a competitor just even opportunity, and I think the best bang for your buck when you look at the infrastructure that Porsche have, it's a great place for those guys to go racing.